David Carnes, my outdoor Christmas decorations are blowing and Flower Girl will not go out the door right now. It is one of those kind of days. Flower Girl is smart to keep that dog inside. Uh, fairy floss, that's what it was called, cotton candy. Hey, the sky looks like cotton candy, right? Because it's, because it's cloud. Ready? That was good. That was, that was my uh, camera operator. Ashlyn just gave me that. So, yeah. Holiday in downtown camera. Here we go. Uh, clouds, that's it though. No rain with those clouds. Just cloudy and breezy. I'm not going to rule out a couple of flurries up in the Blue Ridge Mountains, but it's not likely. You might see literally a flake or two floating around. But for the most part, just cool, breezy weather through the rest of the day. Much warmer though by the middle of the week. Now we're going to take all the cool weather that we're going to get for the next couple of days, all the warm uh, weather that we're going to get toward the end of the week, average it all together. And we're actually looking at uh, above average temperatures when you take all of that and just average it together. So uh, kind of a really roller coaster of our weather. We're going to be cold. We're going to be warm. We're going to see rain, all kinds of stuff going on today. The cold starts to move in. It's already down to 29 in Mont Eagle. My goodness, it'll drop all the way down to about 20, 21 uh, tomorrow morning. North northwest winds at 13 miles per hour, bringing that colder air in. Everybody's in the upper 30s and low 40s, and this is pretty much where we're going to park for the next few hours, and then we'll see it dropping down through the 30s everywhere as we move into the evening hours on our way to the 20s. Uh, the winds are very blustery out there out of the northwest. Again, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds in the valley. So our satellite radar showing the low pressure that uh, actually brought us a couple of light sprinkles last night and overnight uh, off to the east now. And what we're left with is just barely enough moisture to maybe squeeze out again, maybe one or two flurries as we head up into the Blue Ridge. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't expect much, if anything, uh, making it to the surface. Otherwise, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies and we're going to stay overcast. We're not going to start to clear out until late this afternoon afternoon into tonight. Believe it or not, you're going to have clear starry skies tonight moving into tomorrow morning, and that's going to help out bring in some really cold air, mid to upper 20s in the valley, low 20s in the upper elevations tomorrow morning as you wake up. So below freezing, bring in the pets to make sure that everything is taken care of and ready to go for a cold start to the day on Tuesday. Uh, then Wednesday, another cold start, but it's actually going to warm up nicely. It'll be in the mid to upper 50s on uh, Wednesday afternoon and we'll actually make it to the mid 60s on Thursday afternoon. So remember, we're talking about cold air, the warm air all averaging together. We're really going to be in that warm sector for the second half of the week. Uh, upper 50s Wednesday, mid 60s Thursday, low 60s on Friday. And all of that warm air is going to be ahead of this next front, which is going to move in and bring some rain to the area on Saturday morning. So the theme of Saturday will be rain. Uh, some of the heaviest rain looks like it may be in the morning around eight, nine o'clock and then uh, We'll see some of that fizzling out, but still we're going to have showers all day uh, through the afternoon, even into the evening hours. Some of those rain showers are going to be lingering. Then late Saturday night into Sunday, a little bit cooler, and it should be a nice mid-fall to late-fall day with uh, lows in the 30s and highs in the low 50s on Sunday. Rainfall on Saturday, uh, most of the model data for the past uh, 24 hours has been showing about a half an inch to an inch of rain. Uh, fluctuating on where we'll see an inch, where we'll see a half inch or less. But for the most part, uh, I would say a half an inch to an inch of rain is a pretty good bet. So breezy, mostly cloudy. Uh, that 49 degree high, that was early this morning. Temperature has been dropping slowly ever since, and it is going to be breezy throughout the rest of the day with winds out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, we're going to have clearing skies, much, much colder, uh, freezing for everybody. We'll drop down to 28 in Chattanooga, down into Dalton, uh, mid 20 stretch up to Cleveland, Athens, Dayton, and then uh, struggling to even stay in the 20s in Murphy, uh, over into Altamont as well. And again, skies will be clearing out tonight. So your Storm Alert 7-day forecast showing uh, cold mornings through Thursday, but look at those afternoon highs warming up into the 60s. We'll stay dry until Saturday. And then, yeah, we just see uh, rain showers through the day Saturday, ending late Saturday night, and Latrice a little bit cooler on Sunday.